Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on bar charts. In this video, we're going to look at three questions, each one a little bit different. So let's have a look at the first one. The children in the class were asked if they wanted to play rugby, football or rounders, and the bar chart shows the results. So we've got a bar chart, we've got rugby, football and rounders, and going up vertically we've got the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And that's important, whenever you're going up vertically, each of the numbers needs to go up by the same amount each time, and each time we're going up by 2. And we've got a number of children here. Sometimes you might see this word, frequency, F-R-E-Q-U-E-N-C-Y, and that just means how many. So you might see that sometimes on a bar chart, but quite often it'll be labeled number of children or amount of pocket money or whatever it is going up vertically. Right, so let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says, how many children wanted to play rounders? So as you can see, we've got the rounders bar here, which is the tallest one on the end. And if we go up and we go across, we can get to the number 10. So that means that 10 children wanted to play rounders. Next, how many children wanted to play football? So the football bar is in the middle here. If we go up and we go across, we get in between four and six. Well, in between four and six, well, that's gonna be five. So five children wanted to play football. Okay, so our next part of the question, how many more children wanted to play rugby than football? So as you can see, rugby, there's eight children that wanted to play rugby. Football, well, that was five, we've answered that already, and rounders was 10. And the question is, how many more children wanted to play rugby than football? So if we do the eight take away five, we'll see how many extra, how many more wanted to play rugby. And eight take away five is three. And finally, how many children are there in total in the class? But well, because each child picked one sport, that means if we add together the eight, the five, and the 10, so that's eight plus five plus 10, we'll see how many children there are in total in the class. Well, eight plus five is 13, plus 10 is 23. So there's 23 students in the class. Okay, so let's have a look at the next question. The next question says, the boys and girls in class one, class two, and class three collect money for charity. And this is the chart, it's a dual bar chart. It's called a dual bar chart because each class has got two bars. And we have got boys and girls, and this key at the top shows us that the boys are the green bars and the girls are the gray bars. And again, vertically, we have got the uh, numbers, we have got the money collected, it goes zero, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And I'm actually just gonna write the numbers in between because that might be useful for the question. So zero, it must be going up in two. So zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Okay, so let's have a look at the questions now. So the first question says, how much money is collected by the girls in class two? So if we go to class two and the girls, that's the gray bar. So we go up and across, we can see the girls collected 10 pound in class two, so that's 10 pound. Next, how much money is collected by class one? So that's in total, so that's the boys and the girls. So the boys, they collected in class one, 14 pound, and the girls collected 18 pound. So if we add those two together, eight plus four is 12, carry the one, one plus one plus one is three. So in class one, they collected 32 pound. Okay, so the next question says, in which class do the boys and girls collect the same amount of money? So in class one, we can see that because the girls' bar is higher, they collect more money. In class two, the boys' bar is higher, so they collect more money than the girls. And in class three, both bars have got the same height. So that means in class three, uh, the boys and girls collect the same amount of money. Do the boys or girls collect more money in total? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add together the amount of money that the boys collect in class one, class two, and class three, and we'll do the same for the girls. So the boys in class one, that's 14 pound, in class two, that's 20 pound, and in class three, that's 16 pound. So we'll add those together. And for the girls, class one, 18 pound, class two is 10 pound, and class three is 16 pound. So let's add them all together. So six, or four plus zero plus six is 10, and one plus two plus one plus one is five. So the boys collected 50 pound in total. The girls, eight plus zero plus six is 14. One plus one plus one plus one is four. So altogether the girls collected 44 pound, the boys collected 50 pound, so the boys collected more money in total. And finally, our last question. A, a teacher collects information about the pets owned in a class. So here we've got a table that says in the class, 15 cats were owned, 
six rabbits were owned and 12 dogs were owned. And we've got this bar chart and the question says to fill in the missing labels. So we've got to fill in these missing pets and these missing numbers going up the vertical axis. So let's start off with the pets. Well, the rabbits, only six rabbits were owned. So that's the least. So it's going to be the smallest bar. So the smallest bar is this one. So that's going to be rabbits. Uh, the tallest bar is cats because there's 15 cats owned. So the cats is going to be this one and then or cat uh, and finally dogs uh, there's 12 of those owned so that has to be the bar at the front here so that the, the first bar so that's it so we've labeled our pets dog is the first bar cats is the second bar and rabbits is the last bar next we're going to put on the numbers on the vertical axis okay so rabbits we know that the six rabbits were owned we know that 12 dogs were owned and we know that 15 cats were owned now that's quite nice actually because as you can see, uh, we've got two boxes that are next to each other and it goes up by three. Now, as we know, the numbers need to go up by the same amount each time. So that means that they all need to go up by three. So if we start at the bottom, which is zero, so it's gonna go three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. And that's it. So that's all the numbers labeled. So that's it. In this video, we've gone through three bar chart questions. Um, to practice more, go to corporatemathsprimary.com uh, and try the bar chart questions there. Okay, good luck.